In this video, we talk about house settling. When is it considered normal, how long it lasts for, and when you should actually worry. That's coming right up. Welcome to Home Buyer School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. Hi everyone, Carl Ye here with another Home Buyer School video, a channel where you get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips from home buying experts. And remember, this is your first time on this channel and you wanna get the latest strategies from the experts, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I'm joined by Kurt Gibson, Director of Field Operations with Brookfield Residential. And the topic we're gonna to cover today is house settling and foundation issues. So Kurt, what exactly is house settling and what is considered normal house settling? Well, house settling is a process you go through. I mean, obviously there's a lot of wood that's built, it put into a home. Mm -hmm. um, wood comes from the forest. It takes time to dry out. Mm -hmm. It goes through what we call a kiln dried process. And uh, you know, it, obviously that brings the moisture content out of it, or in some cases adds into it, depends where it is. Mm -hmm. And settlement can occur. That also can occur in the foundation situation. There's a lot of water uh, moisture in a foundation concrete, especially when it's poured and it takes a long time for that water content to come out. Mm -hmm. As that water is coming out, you know, there will be shrinkage and it's very normal for houses to settle going through and basically finding where it is and sitting in its place. So, so when a new homeowner comes into a home, when you say shrinkage, what does that mean? Uh, well, shrinkage means, like a lot of times you're gonna see is, wood, again, has a lot of moisture in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you bring it from the, uh, from the out in the forest mm -hmm. and you bring it in and you put it through its process it basically goes through uh, almost like an oven and it brings it down mm -hmm. um, kiln dried materials is typically in the around the 13 to 19 percent range for lumber and you want the, the idea is to bring it down so it brings it the best conditions to work into it but again it depends on the environment Calgary's a very dry climate mm -hmm. Vancouver's a very moist climate so um, relative humidity can be much different. Okay. Um, and from that, what happens is the wood shrinks. When you're screwing in drywall into wood, basically what happens is it's a metal screw or, or metal nail. And then what happens is the wood starts to shrink and then all of a sudden it starts to move and you can see some slight cracks are popping in, oh, in, okay. in nails and screws. So, Will you see your house actually maybe shift? Or will you uh, see it? You can't physically see it typically. Okay. Uh, the movement takes time. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it's a year process typically okay. in Calgary in particular because we have four should have four distinct seasons you want it to go through all four seasons mm -hmm. so it really adapts to all the different seasons from the different humidity level obviously the winter is going to be much different typically dry in Calgary where June can be very moist yep. um, you know it can and it really has to adapt to those surroundings and you know you want to go through that and you will see cracks mm -hmm. and therefore you know a lot of builders reputable builders will come out at the end of the one year or even two years and uh, do a lot of repairs on the drywall cracks. It is actually um, quite common for builders to do that. So, mm -hmm. so besides um, some of the cracks on the walls, what, what are the things would you consider normal um, house settling? Uh, oftentimes you can see doors and windows. Okay. They um, start to stick. Uh, you know, you can see baseboard coming away from the walls on mm -hmm. stairs sometimes. You can see them coming away from the wall. They need to be dapped. It's just movement. You can see cracking in, in mm -hmm. baseboard and casing. It's not just drywall. Yep. There's a lot of different things. You know, nothing's, I, it's all normal. I mean, okay. typically through the uh, Alberta no warranty, no smart uh, warranty programs, uh, 16th of an inch is pretty acceptable mm -hmm. uh, measurement. And then usually, especially with drywall cracks, anything that's more than about 12 inches long, typically uh, is what they consider out of normal. So, And if you want to know more about the new Alberta new home warranty, check out our video above. Now, so how long does how long does a house normally settle for? I think you mentioned a year, but it does. I mean, well, typically a house can settle. I mean, it can be moving. It, it really is a living organism. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no different than anything else. It's, we're part of a planet, and you know, there's always moving and everything yep. going on. Um, but the the most majority of settling happens in the first year, and again, it's that whole cycle of going through four seasons mm -hmm. um, and being able to put it in one place. Yeah. You got to remember all the materials are being brought in from sometimes all over the world, but certainly all over North America mm -hmm. and they are brought into one location and now they're being fixed in one spot. And now those are now coming together and, and basically being one unit or one, yeah. one big building. Yeah. So. so how would we know the difference between say normal house settling and actual foundation issues? Well, foundation issues, typically if you have a I mean, I will say this one thing that's a very common misconception is mm -hmm. uh, concrete. Typically people get nervous when they see cracking, any mm -hmm. kind of concrete they yeah. see and they get nervous. And typically the, it's exactly the opposite. 
uh, concrete typically will crack. If you don't okay. have cracking, it's very unusual. Yeah. Um, so it's very common. It's really about the magnitude of the cracking. Mm -hmm. You know, again, that sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch uh, width. You know, and for a long period or long spans can be the concern. Um, yeah. You know, real major foundation cracks. You'll typically see walls um, with major cracks yeah. in them at uh, the corners of doorways or windows and stuff. Okay. You would see that. Uh, you know, again, I, I know people will worry about that, but mm -hmm. most reputable builders take the time to make sure that their their foundation is built on solid ground. Yeah. There's things like we call soil bearing tests, which make sure that it's all built uh, properly on, on proper okay. ground and okay. it's all checked beforehand. Um, any reputable builder would be taking that step mm -hmm. to do that. And it, I, it's not as much of a worry as people think it is. Plus the Alberta No Warranty again, they have, or through the mandatory warranty mm -hmm. through one, two, five, and ten year program. Yeah. There's a ten year structural program or warranty to that, and the bottom line is is that yeah. you're covered with that on any yeah. concerns that may come about too. So, is there any point when you should actually worry? Uh, I, I guess I've, I've never seen it. I've been in the business thirty yeah. years. Okay, I would never say that I've ever been in a house feeling like it was ever going to fall down. Yeah. So no, I I would say it's pretty unlikely. I mean, obviously every personality is different and some people are gonna be more nervous, especially with mm -hmm. not having the knowledge or experience. It's our job to try and, as a builder, to try and curb those concerns. But no, I mean, if you saw physical movement and you could yeah. actually physically see it, it would probably be a concern, but yeah. I've never ever seen it or heard of it, so. Okay, um, so let's, you, you were talking about the uh, Alberta New Home Warranty and after 10 years, so let's say you had the house for 15 years yep. and you start seeing the same kind of foundation issues. Is it still covered? Like, is there any? Is it covered by any type of insurance or home warranty that you? Uh, that? Typically, after the ten years, the the, mm -hmm. the uh, mandatory warranty is does not cover it anymore. Okay. But I certainly know builders that, uh, if they're still around, would be wanting to make sure that they're taking care of that. Again, I would say it's so rare. Mm -hmm. Typically, if you're going to see any movement, it's going to be in the first year or two. Yeah. Um, something coming up after ten years, uh, it's very rare. Like, I mean, you're probably talking. I've only heard of it a couple times in, mm -hmm. in all the time it, it, it's happened, so it's very, very rare. And again, you can there's always solutions to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's mud jacking, which means you're putting you're pouring basically fresh concrete in and trying to raise the house yeah. up. There's always solutions that can yeah. be found out to make this thing work. People can worry, but there are solutions. I mean, they can be expensive, but mm -hmm. I would also say for the most part, you, you're generally covered one way or another by somebody. So okay. And the final thing I want to talk about is noises. What are some normal noises when the house is settling? Well, again, when you have uh, wood connecting with metal or, mm -hmm. or concrete trying to connect with wood, yeah. you know, you'll often hear pops, you know, or you know things like that. Especially people moving into their house, you can hear trusses. The trusses is mm -hmm. there's an enormous amount of material, wood material, in that, and they'll hear pops coming from the roof, okay, and, or you know, in their ceiling, and and that's very common for yeah. for, for it to happen. Um, you know, you'll hear shifts. You, you might step somewhere and hear a little creak here yep. and there. Uh, very common for, for those kind of things to occur. Again, it's just the house going through its movement okay. to try and figure out where it needs to be. So, Great. Um, do you have anything else to add in terms of house settling? Uh, I think the big thing is, is that I think people worry about it a lot, but it really is a natural part of mm -hmm. it. I mean, it's no different than a human being. I mean, we go through changes and a house goes through changes and we'll always go through changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people to understand that, it's very important that I think they, oftentimes we feel like we're building a house, is, it's mm -hmm. like a diamond. It's not perfect. It's yep. so many people involved in it and there's so many things that can occur. So it's important for people to know that that, that does happen. So Perfect. So the question of the day for you is, when you bought your new home, did you have any house settling issues? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you very much and we'll catch you next time. That's another edition of Home Buyer School. Tune in next time for more expert tips and tricks and visit homebuyerschool.ca to bring you one step closer to finding your dream home. As with everything, it would be great if you like and share our videos. Also, please let us know if you have any home buying questions you want us to answer.